Every day, all over the world, people see, hear, taste, smell, and touch. They absorb information about the world they live in. And their brains, the most complex structure known to mankind, make sense of it all. We use the scientific method to ask questions about how things work. We examine the evidence and use what we find out to develop technological solutions. To cure illness, to run society, and even to send people into space. We are continually asking questions about our existence. Where do babies come from? What's the most efficient way of managing large volumes of traffic? What shapes make the strongest structures? How do you find a cure for a life-threatening disease? Is the light I see a particle or a waveform? If I run faster than the speed of sound, what will I hear? Why does the moon look bigger at the horizon? Some people think science is enough that it explains our origins and our existence. Others believe that science points to something much bigger and that science, on its own, can't offer us satisfactory answers to every question. Why am I here? What should I do with my life? Is it wrong to go through a red light when there's no one around to see? Why is the language of mathematics so appropriate for the formulation of the laws of physics? What's so important about staying alive? How can I be sure that what I see is real? How is it that the words I hear carry so much meaning? Why does the night sky look so beautiful? Some scientists claim that science has disproved the existence of God. Other scientists believe that science has nothing to say on the matter, one way or the other. Still others believe science is a way of understanding how a God-created world works. For them, science isn't always the best way of answering every kind of question. <laughs>